right, so welcome to welcome to welcome to Caldwell Fitness, and today I'm going to be talking about how fitness has changed my life. So I already have a video of how I got into fitness. You can go check that out. Uh, I'll put an annotation in it either on the video or in the description below. And if I forget, you know, just check it out at Caldwell Fitness. But um, basically, like you know, I was all, I was a person who I would discourage myself before anybody else would. Like I didn't have a lot of confidence. Or I did, but it's just, you know, I always, my mind, I always let my mind defeat me and tell me, that, oh, man, you can't do this. You ain't smart enough for this. Or you, you know what I mean? Like, that's going to be too hard for you. So then, you know, when, you know, I got introduced into working out and physical fitness, that changed my mindset. You know, like, I start telling myself I can do stuff. You know what I mean? I start taking challenges. I start pushing myself to do better and you know and during high school you know I grew up in you know I grew up in like a generation who of people who found you know different ways of relieving their stress like some people skate some people draw some people you know smoke weed drink whatever they do and I don't have nothing against that but I chose fitness I chose working out I chose being physically active because of how it makes me how it makes me feel how it made me feel back then I still feel I still love fitness to this day and I plan on working out for the rest of my life and so um so basically you know I chose fitness because you know I chose fitness as my stress reliever because you know like it, it boosted my confidence up you know what I mean and it changed me into a whole different person like I was I changed with being selfish you know, caring about what people think, being mad to not caring about what people think, thinking about the brighter side of things and having more positive energy. And, you know, I'm glad that the Lord, I'm a Christian, you know, he put this in my life. And I know he put it in my life for a reason. So that's why, you know, I spread any kind of knowledge, you know, that I learn off YouTube from, like, you know, some YouTubers I watch, Kali Muscle, Chris Jones, C.T. Fletcher, and many more that I watch. Any knowledge they spread, I don't take advantage of it. You know, I don't. I don't say, "Oh man, he just bluffing or nothing." I, I, anything that they spreading, you know what I mean? As far as fitness and just other things, like telling them, like just being discouraged, being more confident. I take that and I put it inside of me because I know that I can do it. Whatever I set my mind to, I can do. You know, and now you know, like. A lot of my, 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 I know my hard work is paying off. I get compliments from people all the time, and people come, and, you know, they tell me, oh, man, you know, you st I see you still at it. I see you still working. You know, you, ever since ninth grade, you know, you still at it. You know, like, man, a lot of people, you know, they, they say, yeah, a lot of people can't do that, but you're still doing it. And I say, you know, yeah, I, I love to work. I love to work hard, you know, because I know the Lord put this on me for a reason. Even though I was kind of skeptical, skeptical about starting a YouTube channel, but I said, you know, I feel like I got something to offer to the world because the world is already a crazy place and there's too much negativity going around. So I know that fitness and, you know, the Lord, well, first the Lord and then fitness has, you know, put positivity in my life. So I said, whatever I learn from people or whatever I read, you know what I mean? I want to spread the love that, you know, to to other people, to love of fitness to other people because I know how it changed my life, you know, and, you know, that's, that's my main goal to help people, you know, like, I have friends, you know, right now, you know, that I, you know, I love training with, you know, I have a friend named, you know, David, aka Little Dave, every time I work out with him, you know, he push yourself, he push yourself, and, you know, it don't matter how big you are, how small you are, if somebody come up to you and say, man, you know, can I work out with you, or, you know, let's work out, man. Every time I work out with you, I push myself. You know, I do better. That should motivate you, you know what I mean, to try to help more people. And that's what it does for me. Like, you know, I work out. I was working out with a guy, you know, from my job. Or he worked in the same place I work at named Marcos today. And he would just, I seen how hungry he is. You know, he really want to do better. He really want to get fit. He really want to be strong. He really want to be healthy. So, and I seen that. And this guy is smaller than me. He he came up to me. What that don't matter though. But he came he came up to me and said, "Man, you know you want to work out." He's hit me up 
and said, man, you know, let's work out. You know, sometimes the time don't match it, but today I see him in the gym, and we was working out the same thing. I said, come on, man, let's work out. I was pumped up to work out with him, you know, because I had somebody to push me, and, you know, and, you know, like, I have self-motivation, so when somebody come and push me, I just boost me up more, and then I, I help push him. You know what I mean? Like, I put that positivity, and I spread that positivity back out to him. Or anybody who I work out with, even when I work out with my girlfriend, like, I've told her, like, she's lost a lot of weight. Like, I think she lost over, like, 50 pounds. You know, when I first met her, she was down 50 pounds. And I've seen how she work out. I've seen how much she sweats. And, you know, and I'm all like, you know, I'm already, I've already been working out and training. But that still motivates me because she's working hard. You know what I mean? Anything I do... I work hard at it. When I'm at work, I work hard. When I'm working out, I work hard. You know what I mean? I try to stay active and I try to stay working because, you know what I mean? That's what, that's what, mo that's what, that's what's going to help me push to the next level. You know, just working hard. That's, that's all I've heard. If I keep hearing it, then it must mean something. It's resonating with me that you have to work hard at anything you do. Like I said, if I'm at work, if I'm in a gym, if I'm recording a video, if I'm editing a video, I stay up late at night, you know, until the video is done, edit it to, to my liking, and then I'll post it up. And I'll go to sleep sometimes 2, 3 o'clock in the morning after working a full shift. And, you know, I, I still try to get a video up because hard work is what's going to get you where you need to go and not being discouraged. So... You know what I mean? Just work hard. Don't be discouraged. Don't let nobody stop you. And keep pushing forward. And make sure you know you keep people around you who who motivate you, who support you, who pushing you. And watch people who who you know what I mean? Who who doing stuff on you? All the YouTubers I watch, they're doing things, or they're growing. Or I just I just watch random YouTubers sometimes. But the main people who I watch, they're doing stuff. They're growing. And like I said, I just met some of the famous YouTubers that, you know, at the LA at the LA Fit Expo I did this past weekend. Chris Jones, Khalid Muscle, Jerome Fit, you know, all those guys. They just like how they are in their videos, they're like that in person. And they work hard, you know what I mean? They're nice people, and they spread positivity. So I take that as, you know, I'm going to do that too, because it's the right thing to do. Like I said, the Lord put this on me for a reason, and I'm gonna go hard with it. Like even my even even if my audience is small, you know you know views don't matter to me, subscribers don't matter to me. If I have a small group that I'm helping, that's what matters to me the most. So you know, that's what that's how it's changed my life. Fitness, I changed my life by making me become a you know more spiritual. First, you know it it made me be a more spiritual person. You know, it's helped me with my attitude, my confidence, and, you know, and it's helped me think, you know, positive about situations and not, you know, automatically reverting to the negative part of a situation. And, you know, I'm just thankful for that. So anything I learn, you know, I read the magazine, if I learn it from YouTube, I'm going to spread around. I'm going to spread this positivity around because it's the right thing to do. And that's my mission. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm studying to be a trainer right now, and I'm going to make it because I told myself I'm going to make it. Ain't no more doubting myself. It's not anymore, oh, I'm going to fail. Even if I do fail, I'm going to take that as a learning experience and work harder next time towards it because I'm going to make it. So, you know, that's why, you know, how fitness has changed my, how fitness has changed my life and why I love fitness. And, you know, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you find some kind of motivation in this video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And God bless you guys. Have a good one. Back, 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 back.